What can you tell me about the castle? You're the second person to ask me that today. Mm -hmm. I don't know anything about the castle. Who was the it's first? It's only an old ruin anyway. Who was the first? Who else was asking about the castle? There we go. He said he was a reporter. But who do you he think was he was? He was asking about the little people. Ah. Uh. I could have told him a tale or two about the little people. He might have paid me to hear what he wanted me to say. <laughs> anyway, I chucked him out on his arse. The little Good people. You, That's the way to deal with journalists. Hmm. The little people. Wait, we mean the bitches? Or we mean like, uh, Maguire outside? I'll try a glass of beer, please. Oh. Is this your first pint of real ale? Of uh, well, New Guinness? I guess so. What's real ale, anyhow? Beer that's grown from natural ingredients to no. traditional methods. Huh. It shouldn't be kept under pressure or refrigerated. And no. finally, it should have a good body and distinctive character. No. In other words, it's flat and worn with bits in, and it makes you fall over. Hmm. Charming. Oh, George. Good luck. Does this false nose mean anything to you? No. It's not Red Nose Day again, is it? Uh, I don't know. But this is part of a clown's costume. I know that. Good God almighty. What do you take me for? Apparently a dumb man. Do you recognize this man? No, I don't. What do you want with him? He killed I've got a score to settle. I don't want any trouble in the bar, mister. Well, if it's a fight you're looking for, see Father Mahoney. A priest? A man of the cloth? Sure. And he teaches the boys how to box at the youth club. Oh. According to Mahoney, it develops character. Isn't that right, Pat? Didn't he teach you all the art of pugilism? <laughs> Doyle. Sorry, Michael. I was miles away. What did you say? Ah, uh, never mind. Um, you know, at least it's better than touching the little boys, teaching them how to box instead, yes. Do you recognize the name on this card? Thomas Moylan. No. Should I? No. Nah, it was a long shot. Here's something which might interest you. My big huh. tool. Well, what is it? My passport to the sewers of Paris. Is that so? Did you see the snow card last night, Mr. O'Brien? We haven't got a television maker. I know that. Um, why is it, if you don't blame me asking? If God had meant us to watch television, we'd all be like Doyle. I take it no one wants to hear about my underground escapade. <laughs> no. I'd rather drink my own beer. Well, that's good. Do you recognize this matchbook? No, sir. Hmm. Shake my hand. Hey, bartender? Uh, landlord, if you don't mind. Sorry. Shake my hand, why don't you? Now, why should I do that? What have you got up your sleeve? Nothing. Come on, just shake my hand. Oh, not just now, mister. I have to be careful on account of the health restrictions. Hmm. Oh, jeez. You're a wise man. Does this tissue mean anything to you? That's disgusting. Isn't uh -huh. it? I found it in the sewers. Oh, what's the idea of waving it around in my face? You're worse than old Ron. Put it away, man. <laughs> <sighs> uh, well, that was enlight Thanks. enlightening, landlord. Uh, we'll take the take the drink. Did Did you like that, George? Keep drinking. You in Do you like that, George? Is it tasting good for you? Somehow, I'd managed to drink the thick, sweet brew. I felt strangely compelled to order another, even though my every instinct warned me against it. Oh, sounds like we should save. Okay, done. Hi, Excuse barkeeper. Me. I want another one. Uh, yes, sir? I want another one, please. May I have another beer, please? Certainly, sir. Same again? Give yeah, it, please. make it a double. <laughs> How is this stuff made? That's the secret of the master brewer, sir. Each mm. barrel is lovingly manhandled in time-honored fashion. Suspended on skillfully tied ropes of the finest hemp, mm. lowered into the cellar, utilizing the forces of original gravity, like Ooh. manner from heaven. Ooh. <coughs> Fill up me glass. Hmm. <coughs> Thanks. Let's, let's see if I can drink myself into a stupor. Keep drinking, George.
somehow I I felt strange. All right, let's Excuse let's ask for another. <laughs> I don't know if this is actually possible. I've yes, never I'm... tried it, but come on. Hey, how about another drink? See him again? Hmm. Yeah. Do you serve cocktails? I serve anyone with manners and money. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Have you considered turning McDevitt's into a cocktail bar? Cocktails are chic, cool, and popular with younger drinkers. What? Kids in the bar? Can you imagine this? Pin bar, pimples, and puke. Yeah, when right, you put it that I way. Get the picture. I'll settle for a glass of stout. Hurry it up, barkeep. I want to see if I can get Georgie pissed and taking his pants off in public. Thanks. <laughs> Be funny if he actually did. Wake up next morning with these pants on his head. Somehow I felt. Excuse me. Give me another. Give me another. Uh, yes, sir. I'm an alcoholic now. Give me now. More beer over here. <laughs> yes, sir. might turn up to nothing Thanks. but still we I was about to reach for <laughs> a rash move like that in a strange country with strange customs could be my last that that's nice George but you actually meant to grab the glass drinky drinky oh uh, yeah Georgie like the beer oh uh, Georgie like the stout he wants to drinky excuse me more beer uh, yes, sir. I like how he looks at More my glass. More beer over here. Yes, sir. Seriously, you. N how much beer have I drunk already? Can Thanks. I drink, drink, George, drink. Especially since it has that like little dingle sound, like it's like you're getting drunk or something. Alright, let's try no, one more time. Excuse me. Oh. Glass is empty. Uh, yes, sir? Give me. Give me. More beer! Yes. Seriously, is this, this all you're gonna... Yeah, fine. Thanks. Can I do anything else with it? It was an electric pump. No, no, not what I was after. The glass contained a dark liquid. Okay. We'll try drinking this, and then, um, I guess we'll... If nothing happens after this, I'm giving up. Come on. George, you've drunk like six or seven of these now. Try walking. There's nothing wrong with you! Hello. Hello. Doyle told me you definitely worked at the dig. You don't believe him, do you? Well, Patrick Doyle is a moron and a scoundrel. Aww. Even so, he saw you talking to Pegram. No. You can't prove that, Mister. Can I? Well, no, I can't. Can I? Ah, oh, I guess we'll See go outside later. and talk to Maguire. I guess since I can't get drunk.